Welcome everyone to another startup and automobile documentation. What we have here is a 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport. This Santa Fe Sport is painted in pearl white. On the key, you have the buttons for lock, unlock, tailgate release, and panic. Front door panels have storage with bottle holders, has power windows, locks, and mirrors. This one has a gray interior with the standard cloth seating surfaces. Both front seats are manually adjusted. However, the driver's seat does have power lumbar support to weigh. But now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. The Santa Fe is a mid-size crossover that dates back to 2001 when it was launched as Hyundai's first ever SUV. It has since become one of Hyundai's best-selling models. As of the 2024 model year, it is now in its fifth generation. This 2017 model we have here represents the model's third generation, codenamed DM or NC depending on the wheelbase. It rides on the Hyundai Kia Y6 platform and it was sold in the US market in total for model years 2013 through 2019. Now there were, as mentioned before, two different wheelbases for the 3rd gen Santa Fe, both of which were sold under various different names depending on the market. As for the US market, the long wheelbase variant with three rows of seats and a V6 engine was simply called the Santa Fe, while the short wheelbase version was sold here as a separate model under the name Santa Fe Sport, and it used four cylinder engines and had only two rows of seats. For 2017, both the Santa Fe Sport and Santa Fe received a mid-cycle refresh, which freshened up the styling and brought in a host of new updated safety and tech features. With the launch of the 4th gen Santa Fe for 2019, the model went back to being sold in just one wheelbase for most markets, so that year it replaced the outgoing Santa Fe Sport, while the long wheelbase 3-row Santa Fe was replaced by the Hyundai Palisade for 2020. But as for the US market 2017 model year Santa Fe Sport, there were three configurations. One being the base model with its 2.4 liter inline 4 engine with 185 horsepower, and the other two being the 2 liter turbo and 2 liter turbo ultimate, both of which having a more potent 2 liter turbo inline 4 with 240 horses. With that being said, the base 2.4 model did still offer a number of option packages, so you could equip it quite nicely as well. The sole transmission was a 6 speed automatic, and all models could be had with the option of either front wheel drive or all wheel drive, the former of which being what this one has. In Hyundai's US 2017 crossover lineup, the mid-size two-row Santa Fe Sport was slotted between the compact Tucson and the mid-size three-row Santa Fe. So in the instrument cluster, we have four analog gauges, which are your tachometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, and temperature gauge. And then you also have a digital information display, which can be gone through via these controls on the steering wheel. Right now, you can show a digital speedometer. You also have your range, trip computers, that kind of stuff. Move over to the radio icon, tire pressure, service intervals, and then all sorts of settings that you can go into as well. It has a four-spoke design, multifunctional steering wheel, sport grips, and has four controls on this side. Up top you'll have your audio controls, and down below you have your Bluetooth controls along with your voice command button. Then on this side, up above you have your cruise controls, and then down here, your information display controls. 
The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. The parking brake is foot operated. You have your panel dimmer, a climate vent for the driver. You have your drive mode selector button right here. Your modes, your modes are eco, sport, and normal. And you have your downhill assist control toggle and your traction control toggle. On this side is your exterior lighting stock. And on this side is your wiper stock. So going down the center of the interior, you have a little bit of storage up top. Your central climate vents. You have your touchscreen infotainment system, along with some physical shortcut buttons and some physical radio controls. Volume power, tuning, and your seat track, that kind of stuff. We'll go over the infotainment system more in a bit. But below that, you have your hazard switch, your passenger airbag indicator. You have single zone manual climate controls. You have temperature, front and rear defrost, AC, max AC, your fan speed dial, different zones for circulation, that kind of stuff. You have some storage in here along with two 12 volt power outlets, an aux port and a USB-A port. Entering reverse does reveal a backup camera. Behind the shifter, you have two cup holders, a little bit of storage right here, and you also have a center console with a removable tray. The glove box is lockable. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors, card holders, and lights. Manually dimming rear view. On the overhead console, you have your overhead lighting and a sunglass holder. I just did those backwards. Whatever, you get the point. And there are grab handles in all four corners as well. And here's the infotainment system in this pretty basically equipped 17 Santa Fe Sport. So you have a touch screen, but the nice thing about this is you have AM, FM, plus Sirius XM radio, and then you also have Bluetooth connectivity but then you still have a CD player in this one if you're still into that. Digital clock, you can scan, and go through all sorts of settings. Display settings, sound settings, change the clock. But other than that, it's a pretty simple system. But now we'll roll down the driver's window and have a look at the engine bay. Both front windows are fully automatic. The base rims on the Santa Fe Sport are these 17-inch 5 split-spoke alloys. Powering base model Santa Fe Sports for 2017 is the Theta 2 2.4 liter naturally aspirated inline 4 engine. It has an aluminum block and head along with dual overhead camshafts, 4 valves per cylinder, direct injection, and variable valve timing. Horsepower is rated at 185 at 6,000 RPM, and torque is rated at 178 pound feet at 4,000 RPM. This engine is paired to a 6 speed automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode and the one in this video is a front-wheel drive model. Running on regular unleaded with a 17.4 gallon fuel tank, EPA estimates for a Santa Fe Sport like this one are 21 mpg in the city and 27 mpg on the highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. It does have four-wheel disc brakes with the front ones being ventilated. Curb weight is roughly 3,600 pounds for a front-wheel drive base Santa Fe Sport, and it can also tow up to 2,000 pounds when properly equipped.
The fuel cap is on the driver's side. Storage and bottle holders in the back door panels. Fold down the back seats. And these are 40-20-40 split folding. Both front seats have map pockets in the backs. Rear passengers do get a 12 volt power outlet along with their own climate vents on the B pillars. Coat hooks. And you also have a folding center armrest with two cup holders. And as for space back here, I'm about six foot one with the driver's seat in a pretty comfortable driving position. And there's uh, not that much to complain about. I think it's a pretty spacious roomy back seat. Leg room is okay, foot room's pretty good, head room's really good. Then again, this is a mid size two row crossover, a la Nissan Murano Ford Edge. And that segment, this segment always has spacious back seats. Granted, most compact SUVs have really spacious back seats now, like RAV4s, Hyundai's own Tucson. So this is a just a nice, dependable, respectable, roomy, mid-size used crossover. Single exhaust, rear wiper. The Santa Fe Sport offers 35.4 cubic feet of cargo space with the back seats up and 71.5 cubic feet after folding the back seats down. A power outlet back here. And again, another benefit of being a mid-size two-row crossover, you get a very large rear cargo area. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2017 Hyundai Santa Fe Sport, and as always, stay on the lookout for future tours.